Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. So today we need to do quite a bit of planning for our new production. I'm actually really hoping to get it very soon, in the next few minutes maybe, but we do have a little bit of an issue with one of the productions and that would be the bakery because we need strawberries for the top, for the uh, decoration on top of the cake, but at the moment we're just growing loads of lettuce loads of lettuce so i think the best thing to do is to do actually yeah probably not this one we'll keep that one as lettuce we'll do this one over here as strawberries uh, i almost said tomatoes I, I can imagine tomatoes on a cake would seem weird maybe not unheard of i really don't know but anyway yeah deactivate that activate the strawberries and we are good so i wonder if lettuce is at a good price at the moment. I doubt it because it wasn't that long ago that I sold it. And we tend to only have one really good price per year, but uh, yeah, we'll definitely take a look. Which seems okay. January is the best time. It's currently June and June is, well actually, yeah, it's not too bad, it's here, but we can do better. So we'll just, yeah, we'll just slide them over to the right and then when we're ready to sell, we can just pick them up. Whoops. <laughs> There we go. Just get them out of that trigger. So yeah, that was the ingredient that we were really lacking for the bakery. But I think probably before we get the bakery, it'd be a very good idea to get the grain mill. Because we can't actually make any flour. We can't make a cake without flour. We need flour first. So the grain mill, I think, is already in existence. The bakery is in existence too. But yeah, which one is it? Ah, there it is. So yes, this is the grain mill. So we would bring our wheats too. Do we want to buy for 96? Yes, we do. So uh, harvest should be just around the corner. I think we're going to rest to get into July. Uh, I can't guarantee that we're going to have other crops ready yet. But yeah, we've got field number 37, which is going to be, I think, really, it's going to be for the uh, for the grain mill to make flour. We will need something for the chickens, but I think we're doing okay for chicken feed currently. We still have, that's milk. Uh, yes, we still have 40,000 liters of barley. So pretty good. Maybe we can put all the wheat into the uh, into the mill. So yeah, we can do wheat flour, barley flour, oat flour, and sorghum flour. Uh, I was under the impression it was just wheat, so that is really good. But I think we'll probably keep the Yes, you can see the wheat is better for it, so we'll, we'll keep the barley for chicken feed. We are going to be growing a lot of oats, so that's going to be for the uh, cereal. And it looks like it can be for this as well, so yeah, I, I just need to rest. We just need to get into July and see what's going on with the crops. Hopefully, something will be ready. There we go, so here we are. We'll move on. It would be an early harvest, but we're not running seasonal growth, so yeah, I think it's pushing it, but you never know. Okay, so there's our sugar cane. Oh, look at that. It is ready. The oats are ready, but the wheat isn't ready. But that is fine, because I think what I'll do is I'll keep this... Out. Actually, we already have some oats in storage, but I'll keep this field here for the um, cereal, and we'll keep this area here for the grain mill. I just thought the grain would be better to get first. I think going straight for the bakery or the cereal factory would have been the wrong order. So anyway, if only it wasn't raining. Come on, rain. Please go away and come again another day. Okay. <laughs> I requested it to go and it got worse. It can't go on forever. Yes, it's going to stop. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. So, um, yes, we're going to have to. We've got fifty-one thousand pounds left. We're going to have to rent a combine harvester. So, I, I'm going to go and have a look at Mod Hub. We'll just go and see if there's something over there. Okay, so I have just looked and I couldn't really find anything which was. But there's some good stuff out there, but nothing which sort of stood out to be a replacement for some of the ones we have here. So I'm just going to go for this. This is plenty big enough. It's already going to be fifteen thousand, and we're going to have a a daily fee of 3,000, so we're going to have to rest, obviously, because the wheat won't be ready until tomorrow. But if we just go into... Oh, no, I keep doing that. I keep ignoring the combinations button. It's a big mistake. So we're going to have 28 feet. I probably could even go in bigger, but 
yes, I'm going to just stick with uh, with that size. That is perfectly adequate, I think. Let's just I will have a quick look at the uh, next size up, but it's certainly not recommended. The case is 41 feet. Um, yeah, it would probably work, but the auger won't be wide enough, and <laughs> yeah, the, the tank's going to be full instantly. So we'll stick with the 28 foot one. So that's good. We'll get there eventually. There we go. Brilliant. We don't need a header trailer. We don't need to uh, spend any more money there. There we go. I can cut through here. Yeah, because before I just had to try my best not to get hit by a car going down the road with a great big header. But no, this way we can just casually drive across. Everything's fertilised. The wheat is fertilised. The tailor shop should be producing the very first pallet of clothes very soon. I'll have to make a note of when the price for that is going to be at its best. And I know that, yeah, I've <laughs> I've seen the comments where people say that I say uh, we'll, we'll do something when it's at its best. Of course, yeah, I do say a lot, but we have a great deal of productions and we don't want to be selling stuff when it's not at its best. So it is just a constant job trying to make sure we get the prices when they're always at the highest possible price. We don't want to be getting them when they're sort of halfway, or even worse, the worst price. So yeah, and everything's different. All crops are, all productions are ready at a different time. So yes, this is going to be for the cereal, I think. I think this would be best for the cereal. Turn the chopper off. Can I turn the chopper off? Yeah, there we go. Um, and then the other piece, which isn't a very big piece, is going to go straight to the mill to make some flour. Because then at least we can get the mill going. But the mill is going to be in full swing next time. Or it might be in this episode, but yeah, when, when we move to August with the wheat. And it's actually turned out really well. The wheat is going to be ready in August, which makes sense. That is the time when you tend to harvest the wheat in the UK. going to have quite a bit of straw. Just wondering, I think the best thing to do will be just to bale it. We do have the auto stacker, so it really shouldn't be a big job. We just do it. Bale it, pick it up, sell it. Don't think we need to keep any more bales, but obviously if we do find that we're lacking some of our supplies, some of our stock, we can just add to it. Just put a few more bales in the shed. Okay then, right, I'm going to keep going. We can unload, hopefully, straight into the pit, if it's not too tight. And I've just realised, lag corner is no longer laggy for some reason. That's weird. <laughs> Maybe it's the trees. Maybe it's when the trees have got autumnal leaves, or spring leaves. Are these spring? No, these must be summer leaves. Uh, it's July after all. But no, yeah, it seems laggy here in the wintertime, but not laggy in the summertime. Weird. Well, can't complain, that's good. So I will get as much done as possible and I'll see you in a second. Okay, a bit of a change of plan as usual. I never stick to the same plan, but I think this is better. I can actually do the carting and I can also do the bailing at the same time. We're just gonna get everything done so much faster, which gives us more time to work on the productions and buy new fields and stuff. And I think probably with some of the profits that we make in the next six months, we're gonna be, I would hope, buying a new field and putting the vineyard in. Where is my baler? I always forget. I should <laughs> make notes, I need like a layout showing where things are. I guess I could just go onto the the map and it will show me. But no, I thought it was here after all.
not really. I just went here. I just went here and it was luck. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, that, that piece of oats uh, in that field there, that's going to be for the uh, the mill. I noticed the grass field is ready again. I just don't know if we need quite so much grass, so maybe I should cut that field in half. And we should turn half of it into more crops. Like cereal crops. I don't know. Anyway, let me get this unfolded. We're already 63% full, not that it matters. Oh, that's it. No, what I could do is it, I could actually put some sheep on that field. We do need some more space for sheep. Because the sheep obviously produce the wool, which I take to the spinnery. The spinnery produces the fabric, which I take, well, it distributes to the uh, tailor shop. And then we get the final products the lovely clothes. Very expensive clothes. So, yes, I would say more sheep is good. The sheep are living off grass and hay, so we have lots of that. Just get this piece done. Need to keep a very close eye on the combine. What I don't want to do is drop a bale in the turning area, so I need to be very careful about that. But we're cracking on well. It's all looking good. Oh no, there's a piece of that tree in the middle of the road. Well, if it was causing an issue, the cars would have flicked it out of the way like they tend to do. Like when I pull out in front of them, I go flying. It does seem to happen on a regular basis. Anyway, yeah, I would just crack on with this. I need to keep a very close eye on that combine. And then I would say the next time up to end, when the harvesting is over, it really won't take too long. Ah, uh, you see, we're going to be finishing at the same time. Managed to get the baling done in exactly the same period as the harvesting. So, yeah, pretty good. Uh, not not loads of bales, but they are still pretty big bales, these. 9,000 litres, so it's going to come to quite a bit of money. But we'll sell them at the same time as uh, the bales, which are going to come off that field over there. Uh, I'm not going to use a worker over there, there's just no point. Okay, going to have to move it out of the way. But that is the harvest over here done. Put the auger out, we can get it emptying. Oh, bail. And I can just complete that little piece. Lovely. Okay, right, so we'll get over here. Can't really uh, do the baling over here until we finish the harvest. Looking forward to that sugar cane. It's going to be interesting. It'll be slow, but interesting. And the good thing is, uh, there's not really any carting involved. All we do is just put it over here. The sugar mill is so close. Okay, there we go. Back to the combine harvester. Oh yes, that olive harvest in the previous episode. That was really good, very successful. The olives do process fairly slowly. So I think the factory will still be going for a bit of time. I chose a bad way here. And here we go again. I 
think when it comes to the wheat field, I would just go around the headland. A worker can do it. We'll do the baling at the same time as we've done with this. It just seems to be a great way of doing it. It's going to give us a nice field to cut across as well for the sugar cane. It's good that the, the oats have gone. Just drive to there. Very good. So we're going to have almost a full tank load to take over to the grain mill uh, so we get a bit of barley flour in production. I have to empty the trailer first of all into the silo. Okay, spin around, get that little piece just there. And that all took half an hour, so not bad really. 22,777 litres for the silo, so for the cereal. The only crop which remains which we don't have for the cereal is the corn. But yeah, I mentioned before uh, we might be able to harvest somebody else's corn and then we, we always get to keep a certain percentage at the end, so that's going to be very handy for that. Or we could buy a field with corn in, but Obviously that's much more expensive, and we don't get paid for doing it. Anyway, let's go and get that emptied into here. It's quite nice, the grain mill isn't too far away either. All the productions I seem to be buying are relatively close. How's the weather? 29 degrees, it's going to be 34. Yep, so we're not at the dairy. Uh, we're going to go to there. I'll tag it just because I'll probably get confused. Well, yes, it's a very, very easy journey. I'll make sure the engine is off, otherwise, we're going to be paying more hourly fees. There we go. And then I can come back, we can bale this, we'll get all the bales sold today. Hopefully the price is good for straw. Um, but I think, yeah, I'm not going to be storing it, it's just an extra. So we'll sell the straw, whatever. But I just hope it's not the worst price ever. <laughs> that would just be so typical. It probably is actually, because it's July. All the farmers are harvesting, so it's just a massive supply. If I said barley flour before, I meant oat flour. But really, it's uh, a very similar product. I do that a lot. I'm always saying or looking at the wrong thing. I, I go on the price list and think I'm looking at one thing. <laughs> Actually, I'm looking at something completely different. Just bringing in a bit of entertainment. Okay, so this is our new production. Very nice. I must start it up. Oat flour. Already activated. So there we go. Actually, oats seem like a really... Yeah, they seem like a really good crop to use. 150 oats to 188 flour. Whereas barley, 150 to 113. It's nowhere near as good. Right, well, we might be able to bring some more in the future. We won't necessarily need all of the oats. The reason why I was saying barley is because I was thinking about the chicken food. The chickens are having the barley. 
I think before I forget any more as well, um, <laughs> I'm going to repair this and possibly upgrade the engine, but it just comes down to cost. We don't have much money. Right, so the MAN condition is really bad. Repair 3,922. That's fine. Customize. Okay, we can't change the engine. I thought this one did have an option, but no, it is 500 horsepower. That is absolutely fine then. I was actually planning on replacing it anyway soon. Because I've noticed there are other lorries on ModHub. Might be interesting just to, to change it. The ones on ModHub probably do have adjustable engine sizes, so it makes it more interesting. But it's all repaired. Although it still shows bad. That must be the trailer. But I don't think I'm going to spend money on the trailer. It's just not that important. Well, it is important, but <laughs> yeah, for power and stuff. We don't really care about the power. It's fine. Right, so, bailing. I'll just park this over here on the concrete pad. We'll be needing it in July for the wheat. And yes, my massive Ferguson tractor is here. Looks like we're pretty well stocked over there, you can see in the shed. Lots of straw. Uh, we do use a lot of straw because we have the bedding and we have the uh, feed mixture. However, we have all the wheat to come, so yeah, there's just no need to keep this. This is just a nice extra so we can actually recover some money today. Should easily pay for the combine harvester. And at this rate as well, because we are getting quite a bit of land recently. We bought 37, which is pretty big. And I'm still planning on buying more. We may soon be able to get a bigger tractor like the one, the case, which I uh, dismissed. Probably about... 40 episodes ago now, uh, but yes, I know a lot of people were disappointed that I didn't get it, so maybe soon. I, I would say when we get the next big field, that's when we can go for it. Okay, so I've just dropped the baler off there. As you can see, we have all these bales. We'll get them all picked up. We have 23, which is two loads. But yeah, the reason why I'm not putting the baler away uh, is because the wheat field will be done probably in the next episode. So lots more to do. can't have that many in this field. If we have 23 in total... Oh, that was bad. So it looks like we have 8 in this field. Not too bad. There we go. And I think it would be the usual place. We tend to take it to the livestock market, so... Yeah, let me just take a look. This is going to be bad. I know it's going to be its worst. It always is. Whenever I do it. July. <laughs> oh, wow. It's actually marginally worse in August. 105 is where it tends to get down to. Okay. Right. Yes. Might be able to take it to biomass. We'll try it. Because that's up here. Yeah, we should be able to take it there. But that was... Inevitable. Um, it's going to be even worse for the wheat, though. Maybe I'll keep hold of the wheat. The wheat straw. But this stuff, I just need to clear this.
Okay, the last two. For that first load, we got almost £13,000, I think it was. Pretty good. So it looks like we are just about, maybe actually exactly, we're going we're gonna to get the amount of money back that we paid for those two rentals, the header and the combine. That's what we'll make from the straw. So that is just brilliant. I think if the fact that that works out is just perfect because it's really, if you would, like we could have chopped the straw, it's really a free harvest if you want to look at it that way. Oh wow, look at that. Look at those. My strawberries for my cakes, not my tomatoes. Stick a lettuce on top of a cake. <laughs> that would be um, interesting. Healthy. Definitely healthy. Okay, here we go. I always want to just cut across there, but no, that's not really an allocated route. Neither is this. If we can get another 5,000, which I think would be fairly easy to achieve, then I think, yeah, we've profited. So we've got everything for free, and we've got more. Yep, 8,300. So it paid for the combine, and we got some extra cash as well. Fantastic. So that is a nice way to finish. Always nice to know we've actually made a profit. And all the grain can go into our productions. But that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.